In this tutorial, we'll be taking a look at field validators, but putting more emphasis on how to create a custom field validator. Welcome to this tutorial on how to create a custom field validator. During this tutorial, we'll create a validation rule using an existing site called MaxLength Validator, and we'll also create a custom validator that will validate a two-letter ISO country code. So I'm going to log into Sitecore and show you how it's done. You can find all the validators under Sitecore, System, Settings, Validation Rules, and Field Rules. As you can see, there are a number of predefined rules like is email, which uses a regex validation. US social security number is another regex validator. And max length that we will use in our example. So I'm going to create a folder for my rules. And I will duplicate the max length validation rule. I will call it max length 2. And I will change the parameter to 2. Now I will assign this rule to one of the fields. We need to select the template and then the field that we want to assign this validator to. We need to scroll down to the validation rules section. And here we have subsections quick action bar. The error will be displayed in this little column on the left hand side. Then we have validation button. It will be applied when you click on the validate button. The next subsection is validation bar. This is the red indicator that will be displayed next to the field. And the last section is workflow. It will display error messages when you change the workflow state of the item. Remember to select validation rules if you want error messages to be displayed in this column. Once we've assigned our custom validation to this field, we can test it by going to the item. And if we change the value, it will indicate that this is an invalid value. And as I mentioned, the error will be displayed next to the field when we validate the item and in the column on the left hand side. Now I'm going to create a custom validator that will check if the value in the field is a valid country code. I'm using this as an example because instead of adding a custom validation for the country ISO text field, you could create a drop-down list with a list of countries with corresponding ISO codes. I need to create a class that will inherit from the standard validator class from the sitecore data validators namespace and I need to add the serializable attribute. I need to add two constructors and override the name property, get max validator result function and finally evaluate function. Evaluate function is a function where we add our custom validation. In this example it will return validator result valid if control validation value equals GB and it will return validation result error if it doesn't. Now we need to copy the namespace and the class name and paste it into the type field. Now if we test it, it returns valid for GB and invalid for everything else. During this tutorial, we've duplicated and customized the max length validator and we also created a custom validator that could be used in many different ways. As I mentioned during this tutorial, for things like a list of countries and country codes, you could use a drop-down list to prevent content editors from typing incorrect names. But sometimes, if the validation is the only option, you can use a custom validator. I hope you found this helpful and I see you next time.